Los Angeles County Assessor Rick Auerbach is committed to providing outstanding public service. Part of this commitment is providing information to property owners about important property tax issues. In addition to press releases and announcements on the Assessor's website, short videos like this one are being made to reach even more people. Glad you're here. God, it's been ages. Yes. Can I get you something to drink? Sure, something cold sounds great. Thanks. Iced tea, okay? Perfect. So, tell me what's been happening. Oh, I have so much to tell you. But before I get to the personal stuff, do you mind if I ask you something about my property taxes? Of course not. What's up? Since you work for the LA County Assessor, you'll probably know what I should do. I wanted to ask you about this letter that came in the mail the other day. I think it's from the county. Anyway, it says that I need to send in a check for $145 to apply for a Proposition 8 Decline in Value Review of my condo's assessed value. Do you mind if I see that letter? Not at all. Here. Our office has seen so many of these, and they look so official, as if they had been sent by the county. Wasn't it? No. If you look at the fine print, it says this outfit is not a government agency. Besides, within the county, there's no such thing as a decline in value reassessment office. Although, how would you and others know that? The truth is, the assessor doesn't charge to file for a decline in value. In fact, in L.A. County, we don't charge to file any claim form, like the homeowner's exemption, for example. But doesn't it make sense to hire an appraiser to figure out what my condo's worth? Not really. It's really simple to file for a decline in value. You just go to the assessor's website and print out the application, or you can call the local assessor's office and have them mail it to you, fill it out, and send it in. You don't even have to provide sales comparables. Boy, that really does sound easy. It really is. In fact, this year, just like last year, the assessor is reviewing thousands of properties for a possible decline in value reduction, even without an application. And since you bought this place in, what, 2006? Mm -hmm. It'll be included in the review. Owners whose house or condo is included in the review will get a letter telling them the results. And since you have until December 31st to file, I'd suggest you wait until you get the letter. If the value looked reasonable, there'd be no reason to file. That makes sense. That's great advice. Thanks, Lisa. You know, our office has seen thousands of these letters. It's such a scam. Asking for $145 to do something that the assessor may be doing already mm -hmm. or that property owners can easily do themselves. This looks like a tax bill. You know, I'm really glad I asked. I'm ashamed to admit I almost sent them a check. Don't be silly. These letters are fooling a lot of people. Anyways, enough shop talk. I'm dying to know what's been happening. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and please do not hesitate to contact the assessor's office with any questions or comments.